Hi, I'm Dr. Britt Andreata, and I want to talk to you today about your fourth brain, also known as your gut instinct or your gut brain. Now, in our skull, we have what's called the triune brain. It's the three levels of our brain, which starts with the reptilian survival brain, and then there's the limbic or emotional brain. And on the outside is the neocortex, where our higher thinking stuff lives. But scientists have found that there's actually a fourth brain, and it's the enteric nervous system, and it lives in our stomach. It's made up of over 100 million neurons, and it actually processes things independently from signals from the brain in our skull. Now, what scientists have learned is that this gut brain is really sensitive to emotional issues, and it actually sends emotional information up to the brain in our skull, helping us tune into things. It's the gut instinct. It's that thing that you know when you feel that something's off or it just doesn't feel right. Many leaders have made awesome decisions just by paying attention to their gut instinct or what their gut was telling them. So I wanna ask you, are you doing that? Are you tuning in to what your gut brain is telling you? Here's another interesting piece of information. 95% of the serotonin that our body produces is produced in the digestive system. That chemical is what's responsible for our feelings of well-being and happiness. So when you're not listening to your gut, when your gut brain is out of whack or you're not paying attention to that gut instinct, you might be feeling anxious or depressed or not your best self. So again, tune into your gut. One way to do that is to use mindfulness practices like yoga or meditation, just sitting quietly so you can feel your feelings and seeing what your gut instinct is telling you. The other thing you can do is just take a little time, not always be making decisions from the brain in your skull, although it's very smart. Make sure you check in with your other brain, your fourth brain, so that you can make the best decisions possible. Another way to rise to your potential. So the last thing I wanna tell you about gut instinct is if you're a leader of any kind, you're a parent, you're a teacher, you're a leader of an organization or you manage people, or you're a healthcare professional, you're in the position to help other people rise to their potential. So here's what I want you to know. First role model, listening to your gut instinct. The more you do it, the better you'll be able to lead other people in doing it. And then ask people about it. Ask them, well, what does your gut tell you? What are you feeling? Have you had some quiet time to just see if there's anything that you need to check in with yourself? Those kinds of conversations encourage people to do that. And then you can also build mindfulness practices into the organization that you run. You can have a few minutes of quiet time. You can actually offer meditation classes, um, encourage people to go for walks, um, things like that will encourage people to have that quiet time that allows them to settle into their feelings and check into their gut instinct. So again, do your part and we can all help people rise to their potential.